How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Brian, and you are watching the Maniacal Matter channel. Uh, today I got a very special treat for you because it is the end of the year episode, and I want to throw in a few things that I think you might like. Uh, first is I want to do a quick tour of my office. Um, you probably saw that little spin around uh, just to see what uh, the overview looks like, but I'm going to go into a few uh, special things that I think are worth showing off. Um, second, I want to show how I do my recordings. Um, that's something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I know that with how I do things right now, that the process might change a little bit in the future. So I just wanted to do that and see how that would work. And last, uh, I'm just going to go over a few things that I have planned for the upcoming year, uh, just to give you an update on what I'm planning for the channel, and basically to hear if you guys like it or not. So, uh, yeah, first things first, let's go over this office. And I want to start off above the desk over here. I think, uh, honestly, this is one of my favorite things in the office. It's a lot of my old artwork from before I got into the uh, art school that I'm going to right now. Um, of course, up here you have my swords, and right here you have all my juggalo stuff. And here you have a couple of props from back when I was in the army. The one up top is from my first unit, and the one on the bottom is from my third unit. My second unit prop uh, wasn't signed or anything like that, but I have it in my closet and I was going to turn that into a coin rack because I thought that would be pretty cool but yeah I used to fly the Shadow 200 uh, UAV for the army. Alright moving on here we have my honorable discharge from the army and here we have my Maniacal Matter YouTube play button which I 3D printed okay here we have a lot of my random toys and stuff like that of course that little crystal thing in the back was a uh, piece of salt from the Dead Sea over in Jordan. Uh, that creepy cup there was uh, from Germany. Here we have my glowing plasma orb and we have a hourglass there. Here we have a bunch of stuffed animals and other random stuff that I have to keep organized. Papers, uh, blackout curtains, you got my uh, ninja poster, and then here's a, a one of the last pictures I ever had taken with my dad and me. Um, it's We were fishing that day, and it was probably the last time I actually went fishing, to be honest. Uh, my wife had this uh, put on a canvas paper and printed for me, and it's something I really, really like. Here we have my drafting table. Um, Guy Fox mask on the light. And here's my little dog. There's Penny. Uh, she's sitting on a cot that my wife and me threw in the uh, the room here because... My wife really likes to be near me, and sometimes I, I need to do homework, or I'm, I need to do a recording, and she just wants to be close to me, so she'll hang out in here and play on her phone or whatever. Here's my green screen, and here is my desk. Uh, here's the laptop where I do a lot of my uh, editing and stuff like that, or if I just need it to go with me on the go, it's good. Uh, coffee and camera, vape, um, there's my Cintiq, microphone, yeah, check out the microphone, it's pretty cool, yeah, and then, let's see, there's the computer over there, a couple monitors, um, I rigged up this light to give myself a little bit of better face lighting, but um, yeah, I installed all these lights, and I wanted to wrap it around the computer because I thought it'd be pretty cool, um, so yeah, I think that's actually pretty much it for this office. I hope you enjoyed. Okay. All right, so up next I have a, a way to show you how I sync up video to gameplay. Um, it is a very simple process, but a lot of people just don't know how to do it, and I'm just going to show you how I do that real quick. Um, what I use to record is Bandicam. I think it was $40 whenever I bought it, and it's been really awesome. Alright, so the only issue I've had with Bandicam so far is whenever I'm doing my editing process, whenever I record game feed, it uh, records the, the game as it plays. So whenever there's an acceleration in frame rates or if there's a deceleration in frame rates, it will record that, and my editing software will desync the video from the audio. So what I do is I run it through a secondary program, which I'll show you in a second, but um, whenever I'm recording the game 
play game feed or whatever, um, and I want to do a face cam or something like that, uh, whenever I see that there's, you know, an issue, and I'm just going to hit record on this real quick. So let's see. Uh, well, it looks like, looks like, yeah, that's working. Cool. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, I'm probably not going to use this audio from this Audacity, but I'm going to show you what happens. Now, watch that little bar there. Well, this little bar right here and watch this here and I'd show you but I'm not gonna go into my whole editing process but what I do is I have a clacker here and whenever I want to make sure that there's a audio sync up thing that I'm trying to do I'll just do like this and you can see that there's a nice little spike right there which is freaking awesome so I'm gonna do it again real quick just to show you again Boop. and I usually do it twice just to make sure that there are two points and the audio sync up works really well well, let's go into my settings real quick. So as you can see, I have it set for going to that uh, folder right there. You set it up by yourself. Auto recording complete. I have it set to disable because sometimes I like to have the full video and it makes it a lot easier to manage rather than trying to rename and manage like a whole ton of videos, blah, blah, blah. So okay, um, going into these settings. Yeah, so folder. Um, None of these settings are like that, and I have that disabled. Just, yeah, it's just disabled. I'm um, going into video. I set, I have that set for the uh, the star key. And pause key is the minus key, but I rarely ever use that. Um, yeah. I guess I can just like show you real quick. Oh, so another thing I do is I record at 45 frames per second. Uh, full quality, of course. But I record at 45 frames per second because I downgrade to 30 uh, frames per second. Um, I know industry standard is 60, blah, blah, blah. They're getting faster and faster. Uh, for YouTube purposes, downgrading to 30 frames per second is more than enough. And having it set for 45 is, you know, above standard. So whenever I do run it through Handbrake, which is the secondary program, it uh, doesn't have any issues there. So let's hit, okay, there, 48,000 hertz stereo bitrate highest. Okay. Um, okay, that's good. And going into these settings, um, whenever I do record on here, and I do record the let's stop that, um, the audio and sound and stuff like that, this will allow you to get your um, your gameplay. It'll allow you to get any Discord or Skype uh, conversations that are in there. And then um, the Blue Yeti Pro here is my voice, which I usually would record separately in Audacity. But uh, whenever I'm trying to just make it easier, I just do it like this. So two sound mixing keeps it easy. As long as I'm talking into the mic, there shouldn't be any issues. That's kind of what works there. All right, so webcam. I don't use the webcam. Uh, don't do a logo. I don't do any FX. I think... I have it set so it shows the mouse, or it should at least be set for that, but let's see, where's that setting? Yeah, show mouse cursor. Um, I don't want to add any special effects, or don't want to add that, so bam. Image, yeah. These are all the recordings I have done so far. Um, everything's just kind of sitting in the folder there. My list of games is over here. Oh, so another trick uh, for syncing audio in a game, uh, just so that you know that you know, because you're not getting your, your face cam because you need a visual and an audio key. So, um, what I'll do, well, what I usually do is I'll go into like a menu or something like that and I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if I'm just feeling kind of lazy, uh, because it is recording the mouse, I'll go up, down, up, down, up, down left, right, left, right, left, right. And that's usually a good way to at least get your audio from your camera close enough to the um, recording in the game. So let me just open up Handbrake real quick so you can see that software. And it's pretty simple stuff. I mean, you throw in the source and um, I have everything over here set up for simpleness. Uh, 30 frames per second, 1920 by 1080. So yeah. It'll be 1920 by 1080, and then all that's that. Filters, no filters. 
video, like I said, 30 frame rates per, uh, 30 frames per second, constant frame rate, and what I usually do is I'll keep it either at crisp pristine or I'll throw in, uh, throw it down to 10 because it'll downsize the video just a little bit. Audio, um, well, where's the audio? Usually there's a, a track in here whenever you actually upload a video, so let's throw in a source. Let's go for file. Uh, let's just throw in uh, GTA. That let's do that one. Boop. So it'll scan it, and then it'll throw in that audio right there. Like I said before, 1920. That doesn't show up all the time. Um, no filters. 30 frames per second. You can downgrade this a little bit if you want to. Um, it actually records really well. Or the even though it's downgraded the size of the video and it usually downgrades the frame rate, it still keeps a very crisp, clean video. And this is how you control that. I haven't actually played with the lower settings, but honestly, I've gone from a like 20 gig video down to like a four gig video, and it's been pretty awesome. Audio, um, I try to keep everything maxed out. All that's good. No setting. Blah blah blah. Okay, so that's that. Um, it's a pretty simple uh, process what I do. Well, all right, I think that's it for the recording process. Um, so you'll run the game. Uh, you'll have the Audacity running in the background. You'll have your camera started up. You'll do your clacker. And then as the game loads, you can either do the mouse thing, left, right, up, down, up, down, up, down. Or um, you can do the menu thing where I, you actually click like one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't, whenever I do that, I don't ever restart my counting because I want to make sure that whenever I am counting, it's in a sequential order and I'm not like mixing myself up. All right, so I was able to show you around the art studio, the recording room, the whatever you want to call it. It's my office. It's where a lot of the work I do gets done. So yeah, that's that. It's where I'm at right now. Um, I might debut it a little bit more a little bit later, showing a little bit more detailed stuff. But I figured I probably showed off everything in a good way. So I, I'm happy with what I did there. Um, I was able to show you a little bit of my recording process. I know it's probably pretty confusing looking back at what I did. It, it's a simple process. It's really... I just wanted to basically have a, a stopping point for me to show me later on how I was recording... Uh, back in the day. So it's more for me than it is for anybody else. If there's any questions on that, ask me. I will honestly answer anything. Um, at least at this point in time, I will happily answer any questions. Um, if you have any better ways to do it, please tell me. I am actually looking forward to learning better processes. Uh, I know I keep, you know, uh, poking at some of the bigger YouTubers asking for advice on Twitter. I'm like, Hey guys, you know, I'd really like to, you know, make myself a little bit more professional. I see that you have a good thing going. I know 90% of what they do that makes it better for them is their editing process. Um, so recording's not really that hard to do. But I figured I could show at least that part. And then um, maybe a little while later, I'll show my whole editing process to show you guys what I do there. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. But anyway, in the upcoming year, um, what I'm planning on doing is something a little bit like this, where it's like a vlog kind of deal. Um, so my goal is for the first of every month, I want to kind of do an update um, to show myself my progress, to show myself all the different stuff like that. Um, I think that honestly is one of the better ways to keep track of what I'm doing, because I... I'm horrible at try, like, keeping records and my memory is not always the best. So I figure if I do one video a month over the year where it's like a vlog, it'll help me uh, remember where I'm at. And it'll also keep my family and friends up to date on where I'm at and whoever's watching my videos up to date. So I, yeah, I think that'll be a good thing. Um, I want to do some animations. Um, I really, really, I keep saying I want to do it. I keep saying I'm going to do it and I always make excuses of time and stuff like that so I'm going to be pushing myself to at least accomplish a couple animations um, like I said before they're not going to be the most amazing animations because I don't have time to put in you know that 
60 FPS time frame, it'll probably only be like, I don't know, 12 frames per second, because I'll probably do 24, and then I'll do double keying, so, yeah, anyway, um, it'll be pretty, it'll look good, but it'll not be professional level stuff, it'll be YouTube level stuff. I'm gonna keep uh, playing games, um, I'm gonna keep trying to do a video a week, and my goal was to have uh, some videos backlogged for the end of this little uh, holiday break thing that I'm on right now. I thought that'd be really smart to do. Um, the issue I realized I was doing before was I was releasing so many videos so quickly. Um, with Gang Beasts, I I did about 13 videos in a week, or it was it was a high number of videos within a week's time frame. Um, I had the I think I had a week off, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just edit it and be done with it, and you know, blah blah blah. So I posted everything, and then I was trying to keep to my video a week um, record that I was trying to like keep doing, um, and it didn't exactly span out to be the best and smartest way to go about it. Me. Uh, what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll keep posting videos on Sunday. Um, with everything I, I got going on right now, with homework and stuff like that, I think that I can keep posting videos on Sunday and call it good. So, yeah, that'll be a smart way to go about that. So I started my channel on February 4th, 2016. And I didn't officially start posting videos until, I believe, July. And, yeah, since then I've gotten a little bit more serious about it and I've gotten a lot more... Um, smart about it. So over the course of this past year, I recorded with Ness, Big Kirby, and Dark Pit. Um, those guys are part of the Powered by Game Over crew, and they, they invited me into the crew, and that was one of the coolest things that could have happened to me this year, uh, being part of something that actually means something. And I think that definitely helped me be more motivated and stuff like that, and plus it gave me friends to play with, which adds to the content. Um, I wanted to do a lot more solo playing, but it just turned out that playing with other people made it more fun, and I thought it was a lot more entertaining. Um, one of the things I've been saying, and one of the things that I'm going to try to keep true to as a promise to anybody who's watching, is I would not post something I wouldn't watch myself. Another thing that happened that I didn't really expect to happen was uh, Tim Tim actually messaged me on Facebook one day. Uh, I'd been trying to expand out, and I joined a bunch of Facebook uh, Facebook groups for YouTube, and I was looking for, you know, people to watch my videos, looking to get advice, looking for all kinds of stuff like that, and just basically just trying to advertise myself better, and, um, Tim actually, uh, messaged me, and he's like, hey man, uh, I really like what you do, and I think that we should do a collab, and I was like, well, okay, you know, that sounds pretty fun, so, uh, over the course of the next few hours, we played a bunch of games uh, with his friends. It definitely was a breath of fresh air to hear, you know, hey, I like your content and I'd love to do something with you. And I have a hard time, like, getting to know new people and working with new people. Um, Tim, I honestly didn't have any issue. Like, with uh, Ness, Kirby, and Dark Pit, didn't have any issue uh, talking to them or working with them or anything like that. With Tim, it felt the same. Um, some of Tim's friends, you know, I'm still a little bit, you know, back and forth on how I record with them, if I do record with them. But it was awesome playing with them. And they definitely added a lot of content and added a lot of uh, voice and stuff like that to what I was doing. So it made a lot of the videos a lot better. I want to say thank you to the 61 subscribers I have right now. Um, I know my goal is to get to 100 subscribers so I can change my URL and all that fun stuff. But what I want to say is thank you for actually watching, and thank you for commenting, thank you for offering advice, thank you for, you know, being supportive and actually following up with me and actually trying to keep me um, going and actually showing support to me. The, the, the support that I've gotten from all you guys has just been phenomenal. Um, I, have to say, I, I really have to say thank you to my wife because... She has been the most supportive person in the world to me. Um, she 
got me this mic here, you know, and she got me the camera that I'm recording with right now, and she basically made sure that I got this badass computer over here, and she made sure that I got, you know, all this good stuff, and I know it's for my progression as an artist, and it's for my progression as a game designer, and it's for my progression as a YouTuber, <laughs> but, um, I have to say thank you to you uh, the most, because you've shown me nothing but support and love, and holy crap, that that's, you know, I didn't expect that. Alright, so I think that's it, I think I'm going to stop wasting your guys' time. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm rambling on, and I, I think that I've gotten to a good point right now where I can say that I've had a good year. Um, I know that this year sucked for a lot of people, but for me, it hasn't been as horrible. I have been passing all my classes. I've been doing really good. Um, I actually did really well in school, which is freaking awesome. And I know that a lot of celebrities have died. I know that it's been a really hard year for a lot of my family and friends. Um, from people's faces literally being blown up to um, just pop tires, uh, just people losing jobs family issues, health issues. It's been ridiculous. Like, this year has been crazy, and just within the last month, it's gotten so much worse for so many people. And I'm happy that I'm, you know, not as affected as most of them. I, I feel for all the, the celebrities and stuff like that. I, I, get, I get that, you know, people are upset about it, but you can't control that. You age, people die. I know this has been a year for a lot of great celebrities to go down but you can't really you know you can't really stop that from happening you have to you have to accept it and appreciate everything that they've done you know but yeah all right guys well i wish you all a happy new year um as for a resolution i i'm not really good at resolutions um I like to think of myself as a very down to earth person and i try to make myself do the best that i can no matter what and for me to say that I'm going to do something different or try to change myself is kind of contradictory to who I am as a person in general. So I'm not going to throw out a resolution. Um, if I do throw out any resolution, it's going to be to keep up with the promises that I've made for this channel. Um, I'm not going to try to overdo anything or underdo anything. I'm just going to fail it inevitably. Like, I want to promise that I'll, you know, work out more and stuff like that, but I can't promise that because I'm a busy person and I don't always have the time to go do that. Like, I'll work out every now and then. I know that we got the exercise bike because my, my knees and my back are going bad, but it's, uh, it's hard to sometimes just focus on that. You know, it's fun looking around the room and seeing all these different things. Everything really honestly has a story. And I know I have a lot of stuffed animals and random masks and random stuff like that. Toys, pictures, things like that. Even my swords up there um, have a meaning to them. I think it's really awesome to have all this stuff and actually reflect back on times. Alright guys, so that's it for this year. Um, everything that I've done so far is going to be in the... 2016 playlist and i hope that 2017 is a much better year for everyone thank you again to everyone thank you to my wife thank you to my viewers thank you to everybody who's supported me who's wanted me to do like really well i appreciate you guys and i will talk to you all later bye